Agra was transformed from a little village to a capital of the Mughal Empire by two great Mughal monarchs, Akbar and Shah Jahan. Today, Agra has some major sites for tourists, like Fatehpur Sikri, the Agra Fort, and of course the Taj Mahal. Besides these buildings, we saw a marionette player in Hollywood style and drove in a traditional tonga. Watch till the end to see how they used to make the beautiful decorations in the Taj Mahal. <laughs> From Jaipur we drove to Agra covering a distance of 250 kilometers in approximately 4 hours. On the way we visited Fatehpur Sikri, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Fatehpur Sikri, meaning victory thanks to God, is a deserted red sandstone city built by Mughal Emperor Akbar as his capital and palace in the late 16th century. It is a veritable fairy tale city, used only for about 15 years, and the monuments are in a perfect state of preservation. Divan Iam, or Hall of Public Audience. Divan Ikas, or Hall of Private Audience. It is famous for its central pillar with its 36 serpentine brackets holding the royal seat of Emperor Akbar. Panch Mahal Chaupar or Chauzar The game is played with 16 pieces, 3 dice and a board in the shape of a cross. Anup Talao is a magnificent, one-of-its-kind water tank, built in front of Akbar's private quarters. The Turkish Sultana's house was probably used as a pleasure pavilion by two Turkish queens of Akbar. The interior of this house is as richly carved as the exterior and hardly a square inch of space has been allowed to remain unattended. Kwapka is the emperor's private chamber and library. Sunera Makan, also known as Golden House, was built for the mother of Emperor Akbar. The Palace of Joda Bay. It was part of the royal harem, the Zanana. Step into this palace to get an insight into the royal lifestyle of Mughal queens. Balconies at the corners of the courtyard allow the residents a view of the outside, whilst the interiors were kept well concealed. On top of the hill lies the Jami Masjid, one of the largest mosques in India. The mosque's southern entrance, a massive gateway called the Buland Darwaza, Victory Gate, gives a feeling of immense strength and height. of Salim Chisti. 
Inside it are brightly colored flower murals, while the sandalwood canopy is decorated with mother of pearl shell. And the marble jellies are amongst the finest in India. Sufi singers in front of the building. To get an idea of the atmosphere in Agra, we spent an hour on a traffic island near our hotel. The variety of modes of transport is great. Cows walked on the road. Monkeys on the roof. And overloaded bicycles. But trucks passed by. Near our hotel was a marionette player, pulling the strings attached to several marionettes. In French, marionette means little Mary. One of the first figures to be made into a marionette was the Virgin Mary. Kind of Hollywood in Indian style. Introducing a puppet Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> she's gonna do a Bollywood dance. Let's see how she's gonna do. Near the gardens of Taj Mahal stands the important 16th century Mughal monument known as the Red Fort of Agra. Today visitors are allowed entry only through the Amar Singh gate. Divan Iyam This is where the Mughal Emperor, Shah Jahan, would hold public meetings with the people and attend to their problems. The structure is another example of Shah Jahan's love for marble. He is the one of the Taj Mahal. Moti Masjid, also known as the Pearl Mosque. Anguri Bagh was once the private area of the ladies of royal families from the Mughal era. It has a garden in the courtyard and a reflecting pool with scalloped borders. Divan Ikas, or Hall of Private Audience. It was used by the emperor for meetings in private with important guests such as kings, ambassadors and nobles and to deal with important affairs of the state. Shah Jahan's opulent peacock throne made of gold and gemstones supposedly including the precious Kohinoor diamond 
was positioned in the center of the Diwan Ikas. Shah Jahan built a beautiful Taj Mahal in the memory of his wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The last eight years of his life, he spent imprisoned in Agra Fort with a view on the Taj Mahal. Jahangiri Mahal. This was the principal Zanana and was used mainly by the Raiput wives of Akbar. A gateway leads to an inner courtyard, surrounded by large halls, which are extensively adorned with Persian-style stone carvings. The most striking feature of the palace is the decorative stone brackets that support the beams. Jahangir's house. This monolithic tank house was used as a container for fragrant rose water. This is a tomb of Mirza Kiyazbek and his wife Asmat Begum. He came from Persia and served Akbar. His daughter was famous for her unique beauty and Akbar's son Jahangir completely fell in love with her and married her. Akbar was the grandfather of Shah Jahan, the builder of the Taj Mahal. In fact, this monument is considered to be the inspiration behind the Taj Mahal. For this fact, it is known as the Baby Taj Mahal. The walls are made up from white marble from Rajasthan and crusted with semi-precious stone decorations. Cornelian, Jasper, Lapis Lazulu, Onyx and Topaz formed into images of cypress trees and wine bottles or more elaborate decorations like cut fruit or vases containing bouquets. And not large round stones but flakes that were then cut into the marble and glued in according to a secret process. Four small minarets rise at the four corners of the small tomb structure. The whole structure gives the impression of an enlarged precious object. While Taj Mahal is associated with a love story, this tomb is a loving tribute from a daughter who grew up to be the emperor's wife and one of the most famous women of her time, to her beloved father. A kilometer before the Taj Mahal, we changed into a Tonga. This is a horse-drawn carriage, painted and decorated with both real and fake flowers. Oh, 
tombs were status symbols in medieval India. So rulers and noblemen strove to leave a lasting legacy by building grand tombs for themselves or their dear ones. The South Gate of the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is the jewel of Muslim art in India and one of the universally admired masterpieces of the world's heritage and a symbol of India's rich history. The emperor gave his wife the name Mumtaz Mahal, meaning chosen one of the palace. Mughal emperor Shah Jahan created an ivory white marble mausoleum for his favorite wife Mumtaz Mahal, often called a love poem in stone. After the completion of the Taj Mahal, Shah Jahan was still stricken with inconsolable grief. Aurangzeb, the third of Muntaz Mahal and Shah Jahan's four sons, took advantage of the situation to kill off his three brothers and successfully usurped his father. Shah Jahan spent the remaining days looking out of a window in the Red Fort in Agra, watching his beloved wife's mausoleum. As the best example of Mughal architecture, the Taj Mahal is a fusion of Hindu and Islamic architecture, interpreting many of the Hindu traditions in an Islamic form. Apart from its stunning design balance and perfect symmetry, the Taj is also noted for its elegant domes intricately carved screens and some of the best inlay work ever seen. Koran reciters would sit day and night in the mausoleum and offer funeral services of prayers for the soul eternal of Mumtaz Mahal. After our visit to the Taj, we visited a stone crafting company to see how they used to make the beautiful decorations on the Taj Mahal. This is in fact the same model, same technique, even same tools which has been given in the Taj. Their forefathers used to work with the Taj. So this art has been handed down from one generation to another. Now these are the same jewels same semi-precious stones which have been given in the Taj 354 years back. Number one here, blue is lapis lazuli from Afghanistan. Number two, green is malachite from South Africa. They get this white piece of marble, then they apply this orange color, henna color. It's a temporary color. They cannot do it on the white. It will simply reflect their eyesight. You can see a lotus flower. The same flower which has been given in the Taj 354 years back. You can see the small details here. You can see a small leaf, it has got four different stones. Next week we'll show you more of Fatehpur Sikri, the ghost city of an emperor. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with, with us! us.